Hello, I'm going to try to do a rehousing. Usually it's a jumping spider. They're nice and easy, as far as I know. This one, I'm still... <sighs> yeah, this guy's laid back. But... <sighs> it's a... <sighs> There's still spiders. They're still frightening. And he's on a hunger strike, so I don't even know what to do about it. I mean, I'm just calling it a he, but I, really I should call it a they. But Obviously, Arizona Blonde Tarantula I picked up at a, uh, lizard, a reptile show a couple months back. A fawn... I can't even say it. A fauna palma calcodes. He was on my wish list. He's the prettiest brown you've ever seen. I'm always leery on opening this up, but he is pretty, so you'll get to see him when I try to... I've seen people walk them from one enclosure to another. It's frightening. So I'm going to put him to the side, and you'll get to see... I'm just using some stuff I picked up from the local uh, PetSmart. Though I prefer Petco. They're what I got. And I picked this perfect little guy up at H Mart. I did these holes yesterday, all the way around. Got rid of two sets of clamps. Had to keep the uh, washer. I know, I know there's a better word for it, but I can't think of it right now. Because it's the only way this will lock on. But at least the lockings on both sides are gone. Because it... You know, every time I touch him, he kind of looks to find out what's going on, but so we'll try it out. You can probably hear the uh, <clears throat> humidifier behind me, but that's okay. Because it's winter time here, and so when I'm home, I get to run it and the heater. But my little guys live in their own little enclosure. Ooh, this is quite dusty. Ooh, that's... Mm. He'll have a little more. I have yet to find the perfect hide for him. He is tiny, but <laughs> good lord. Is that a rock? Guess it adds texture. At least with this, I'll be able to dig more. I mean, it's not much of an enclosure. I'm going to use his water dish, which is really just a cap, I think, to my almond milk. I'm pretty sure he's got one of these in there. It's a little bigger so that he doesn't knock it over. And since he is from Arizona, he really doesn't need any moisture. I give him, I always make sure if he doesn't eat, at least he has a water dish full of water. I don't mist him. I don't do any of that stuff. He's a juvenile. He's lived long enough. The breeder did say he could live in that enclosure for another year. So this is just an inch bigger. Give him some more room. He does like to hug up to the sides. It's some, I do have on my wish list something a little taller. And I've also been uh, watching a lot of videos on YouTube. And Dave's Little Beasties said you can keep at least slings and the younger ones in a smaller enclosure because they can find their food. And he seems to prefer the giant mealworms and they like to dig. And I don't like to dig for him too hard when he doesn't eat them. So, yeah. Okay, moment of truth. First, I'll take the water out because I kind of, I don't know, I might tilt him. His webbing is sort of keeping all of this together, but only the best for this little guy. Maybe I will miss it just a little. Not like it does any difference. And he's just going to be sitting in a puddle. But I use 
two on the tiny ones they this gives a fine enough spray this is pretty good size I think I picked it up not home goods but Christmas tree shop when I was desperate and I do use bottled water I don't personally drink bottled water I'm fine with good old tap but I like me some fluoride and hard minerals and I need to get a bigger paintbrush oops sorry dude I know I seem to torture you when I take you out god that's a mess Let's stir that up a little Eventually I'm going to find a good hide, but he he's good at bulldozing whenever he wants to. Generally, I avoid trying to touch his dirt because I think most of my allergy issues are probably from his little hairs. He has thrown up kicked hairs at me twice since he's been here but it's only because I threw something in hoping he'd eat and he didn't want it but it was just a mild little like flick on his butt he didn't really do a whole lot but he is I know you're gonna want to crawl out I don't need you crawling out any time oh why is your foot there his foot was on the wa little water bowl I know he wants to come out. He always sort of does, but that really makes me nervous. And again, I try to keep anything that's in his enclosure off of my work surface. Okay, but it is a you know, pretty big improvement. Will he walk in? I don't know. I hope to God he does. Wait, I almost forgot something. <laughs> Catch cup. <laughs> Oy vey. Well, let's just get this out of the way. I'm going to pour this into one of my plants. And I usually keep these. Okay. I do have to just empty my work surface minor production issue I was gonna put a tray under here but no time is not no time to because this is an unedited video <laughs> I am very nervous and very anxious but I got the catch cup I've got this I know he's relatively slow oh boy probably see how much I paid for him which was well worth it okay dude please do what I want you to do please don't be fast okay come on I'm letting you out isn't that exciting I never let you out before but I've only had you since early November Please cooperate. Oh no. That way. Oh no. There you go. You're such a good boy. Well, if you are a boy, you're good. Look how little he is. He's just so precious. Come on. And the handler. I mean, the breeder, he just picked him up, touched him. Oh, I know. I, oh. He had loads of fun just picking him up, showing me how calm he was. There we go. And there it is. He's in his new house. Look how pretty he is. He matches everything. And now you're in. Well, that was pretty easy. I mean, I'm, I, I don't handle any of my spiders. And I won't be handling any of my tarantulas. 
but I will show you, since that was nice and easy, my other little tarantula. I got a Chromazapelma cyanopubensis, oh, green bottle blue, born right here in Massachusetts. I have the breeder's card. She usually, ooh, she usually does pythons, but look how sweet that is. I don't know if you can see them really good, but. The striping on the boot, booty is quite striking. I'm not feeding that one today either, because she's really fat right now. But I gave her a little water, which is already done. So there you go. You saw my rehousing. Now I have to make a sticker for it. Thank you.